An El Dorado County woman says that her refrigerator has been acting up for months. The repair shop says it can't be fixed. And when she wasn't getting any satisfaction from her warranty company, she called Curtis. I'm so sick of eating things out of cans. Sick of eating canned goods. Rada Nelson's fridge has been on the fridge since last November. The fan went out first, and here was this. <laughs> this whole wall, I was told, back here is all ice. Rada called for service on her Maytag Dependability Plus warranty. She says they referred her to a repair company and told her to set up her own appointment. So she did. But after seven service calls, which she paid more than $850 out of pocket, he said, it, it can't be fixed. The fridge still screams, <laughs> as Rada puts it, on a daily basis. Turning it off and defrosting it seems to help, but only temporarily. I don't have a refrigerator, I just have a nuisance. Rada says the company that administers her warranty, Assurant denied her request to pay her back and repair or replace her fridge. In a letter, they told her consumers are never asked to call repair shops on their own. And we have no records of the calls for service that you refer to. That's when our volunteer Beverly took the case. It was something that she tried and, and made so many attempts on her own. She referred Rada to the state's Department of Insurance. Don't give up. Don't just take the answer of a particular company. If your warranty company isn't helping you out, the insurance department's Pat McConaughey says they might be able to help. If the warranty company is under the jurisdiction or umbrella of an insurance company, then we would investigate if a complaint is brought to us. Rada's complaint to the insurance department was forwarded to Assurance Insurance Company, and that's when she got results. The company agreed to pay her out for the fridge, reimburse her for all the repairs, and $300 for food that spoiled. I think that I am going to go to the grocery store and stock up. Hmm. Well, Curtis learned that Rada's uh, warranty changed hands in 2010. Now, Assurance says that when Rada first called for service, that was in late 2011, the old company should not have told her to call for service herself, and her request for service should have been forwarded to Assurance. That Curtis got it all straightened out. Now, you can also complain to the Department of Consumer Affairs if you're having any trouble with your warranty company. If you have a consumer problem that you'd like Curtis to take a look at, you can call the hotline or send them an email. Log on to CBSSacramento.com. Click on... Call Curtis. It